All right, for this recipe, we're gonna do perch. We just caught them today on the ice and we're gonna fillet them. Our first cut is gonna be an angled cut right behind the gill plate. We're gonna make sure we take it right down to the spine and that we break all the skin. Next, we're gonna take the tip of the knife and we're gonna break the skin running it along the dorsal fin. When we get to where the spiny dorsal ends, which is also where the rib cage ends, we're gonna push the knife all the way through, then running the knife along the spine, pointing it down so I can feel it. Some people cut right through the tail. Personally, I leave just that little bit right there, and I'll tell you why later in the video. Next, we take the bow of the knife, making shallow passes along the rib cage until we get to the Y bone. Once we hit the Y bone, we're gonna turn our knife around, point it up, open up the fillet, and work our way up that Y bone till we get to the skin. Once we hit the skin, we're gonna turn our knife around again, point it down slightly toward us, work our way down the Y bone until we hit that rib cage, and then use the bow of the knife to finish removing the flush from the rib cage. We're gonna take this down to that shiny skin. That's belly fat and we're gonna remove it. We're gonna actually cut it right out, cut right through the skin, opening up the fillet. I remember earlier when we didn't cut through the skin at the tail, this is why. Now we have more to hold on to while we're removing the skin. We're gonna start as far back as we can, put a flex in that knife so it stays nice and flat, rocking it back and forth, checking every so often to make sure that we're not breaking through that skin. And we're gonna continue this all the way down the fillet till we get to the end, push through. No, push the knife through like that and your fillet is done. Now we're gonna remove that skin, flip the fish, and we're gonna start over again on the other side. Our first cut's gonna be the same, behind the gill plate, on an angle, all the way down to the spine. With no meat on the other side of the fish, it'll roll. So I use my hand to roll that fish back so I can put the knife in on a straight angle and not lose any meat. Once we've done this, we follow the steps we did before to finish our fillet. So we finished filleting the perch and rinse the fillets. We're gonna season the fillets, put those aside for a little bit, prep the rest of our toppings for our fish tacos, get the batter ready and get cooking. So let's jump it. We're gonna season the fillets with Montreal steak spice, salt and some cayenne pepper. Once they're seasoned, we're gonna put them aside and let them sit. So we're gonna peel and dice half of a mango. No wait, avocado should go first. So we get some avocado into that bowl, add some salt, cayenne pepper, and a dash of lime. Get all that mushed up. And now we put the mango in. A quarter of a red onion, cilantro, chives, and then we mix it all up. We're gonna cut some pickles into strips and grate some cheese. Make sure you grate extra because the kids. We're gonna put the perch into a Tupperware container with some flour in it. We're gonna shake that up. I like rotating the container while I shake to ensure that we get some nice even coverage. We're gonna fill a pan with light oil like vegetable oil and a couple tablespoons of butter. And then we're gonna throw that on the heat while we work on our beer batter. So you're gonna add beer to your pancake mix until you get a consistency that is slightly runny, but still sticks to the whisk. We're gonna bring it over to the stove, make sure our drying rack is ready. We're gonna take the fish out of the flour, dip it in the beer batter, and then put it into the oil. We're gonna do about two minutes or so on each side, and then take it out and put it on the drying rack. Once it's on the drying rack, we're gonna squeeze some lime onto it and get ready to make our fish tacos. Okay, I know we've been saying tacos, but I'm actually making a burrito because you can fit more of the good stuff in there. So we're gonna add sour cream, grated cheese, two pieces of fish, because it's yummy, salsa, red onions, pickles, some of the homemade guacamole, your favorite hot sauce, and then we struggle to wrap it, do the best we can, let's be honest. We're not food stylists. And then we take it to someone else to wrap so we can take a fancy picture. 